This is a family show, but let me try to ask this anecdote uh, in a family way. So there was the story of a fellow who had relations, as they say, with a dolphin. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this was actually a real person. Uh, down in Brazil, there was a person that was arrested uh, on more than one count of this. It wasn't, it wasn't just a chance meeting. Uh, <laughs> Is that right? No. <laughs> no. But, uh, but you, you, you used this story in, the, in a book, but you actually made the ending different. Yeah, yeah, I did make the ending different. And I'll tell you where it started, actually, was um, we have these, in Florida, we have these exhibits where you can, tourists can go swim with the dolphins, okay? Right. And, they, and you pay some money and you get to hop in a lagoon. And it's the highlight of every dolphin's day, by the way, to have 75 different tourists jumping in there and grabbing their dorsal <laughs> fin and making stupid squeaking noises. Uh, you know, dolphins love that. Yeah. And anyway, so there had been a quiet rebellion among captive dolphins, and, and there had been several injuries to tourists. Um, some of them quite violent, um, and so some animal rights groups were saying you have to shut these exhibits down because they're, you know, the animals are clearly unhappy. And in our family newspaper, the Miami Herald, we euphemistically described these, uh, these, these uh, episodes as uh, uh, aggressive behavior towards the tourists. And in many cases, what, it was more than that. It was romantic behavior towards the tourists. You know, a dolphin is a, um, can get up to about 800 pounds, and um, they're um, endowed proportionally, and, uh, um, uh, and there were some injuries related to dolphins showing way too much affection to tourists. And to me, as a columnist, this was a dream story. Yeah, you couldn't have asked. <laughs> right. Please. You know. Yeah, it's, you know, it's like flipper gone amok. And, and, right. and so I had found a, a victim. It was, she wasn't badly injured, but it, she was shaken up, to put it mildly. Of yeah. And so I interviewed her, and I slammed a column in the newspaper as fast as I could because I've made it my life's mission to scare as many people out of Florida as I it's could. Possible, and I thought, right, yeah. what, else, what else proof do you need that you have to get out? Right. And of course, uh, and I got calls from the Seaquarium and saying, Flipper's never been caught doing this. This was somebody else's dolphin. I mean, I, I slurred Flipper. It was great. But anyway, I had borrowed, I lifted that episode and the thing, this very sordid case in Brazil. And uh, so in, I, it was in a novel I was working on at the time, and I needed a, a sort of a poetic ending for a character. And uh, there was a rogue dolphin called Dicky the Dolphin in this novel. And so I contrived an ending to a bad guy who it was under a moonlit night, and he's, there's a struggle, and he's, he falls into the tank with. Dicky and he's and he's, he's romanced to death again. It, again, it was handled in in a way that delicately Disney would have been could have used this scene. Well. <laughs> exactly, they but, may be listening actually. But, that, so. but that's an example. I'm just ripping off the news. Re yeah, remarkable. Yeah, yeah. Glad I asked.